said Song. About time you. May 23, 2019. Interviews, a gap celebration in the Canaries. Instead, we will let the spontaneity of what you want to say express itself in relation to what has been experienced and heard, or not because some people were asleep. I'm going to move, so who wants to speak? Go ahead, go ahead. Brother, I'm starting. So I was sitting in the chair, I dominated you all with any my sister, but I admit, I didn't know exactly, except for the last name and the first name that came back, where it was supposed to end. I didn't really understand the message, I didn't understand the message and I was all ears, and I didn't understand. So here we are, I'm glad now that it was hearing so that I know what I've been involved in, because I've heard everything, I haven't slept, I haven't slept, but I haven't known exactly where it should come from, because of the last name and the first name. And what is surprising, often, what has been said, I knew the rest, it was surprising. And I was looking for what's going on, what more will there be? That's it, it's a little bit. It fits in one sentence. It is Moses, in front of the burning bush, who asks who you are and answers him. I am whom I am, Ahyashur Ahy. You are only by your last name and the first name, within this character and identity. And by the way, yesterday, there were some, I told you to embrace yourself, and what happened? Elida can talk about it, when we embrace each other, the wings spread. I said that, but I didn't think it was going to reach that intensity. I am the one I am, there is no other truth, that is what we have understood, and, above all, that is what will be experienced from the moment you embrace, simply by pronouncing your last name and the first name through the word slash verb. Sister, I do not understand what has been said or the answer you have given. Now, what I just gave now. The ultimate revelation, the ultimate secret lies in the affirmation of I am whom I am, not elsewhere, not in a soul noun, not in a spirit noun, but your noun today and your last name, verbalized, are the word slash verb. That is the only truth. That is to say, it is within the illusion and the ephemeral that it has been hidden, but was this illusory character who was only passing through, through the precise last name and the first name that we bear, is revealed the unspeakable, I am whom I am, Ahyashur Ahyu. Sister. You said it is the junction of being and not being. What? Sister, you said it is the junction of being and not being. Even from here I can't hear you. Sister, it's not true, it's the junction. The junction. Sister, a being and not being. That's it, that's it. It is through the ephemeral, this character, our life, but not our life in the sense of history, but our name, how we have been called. How our father and mother, simulacrum of father and mother, named us in this life. The ultimate secret is there. That is to say, when you embrace yourself by saying your last name and the first name, as some of you experienced last night, your wings unfold, and this is the ultimate, if I can say so, accomplishment, there is nothing simpler. No one can escape this. Sister, we take the bride's name or the maiden name. It's been said, by the way, it's been said. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Your last name and the first name, within the illusion in this form, are today the only truth. There was no way of making a mistake, no one could escape it, whatever his religion, whatever his belief, whatever his experience, whatever his vibrations your last name and the first name, within the character, within the story, are today, the only truth. It simply means that, when you say your name aloud when you embrace yourself, with your hands like that or not, agape, agape, the aim, well, everything is accomplished and you and the truth is lived. And if we are logical, how could it be otherwise, with all the people who were involved in religions, movements, stories, if not having a common denominator that, I remind you, is still given in the Bible. When it is said that God gives you to name creation, when you name yourself, really and concretely, you recognize yourself, not in history, but in the vibratory pronunciation by the verb of the noun and first name you bear. Once again there is nothing to believe or understand, it is just to live, and how you will live it, what I was already telling you yesterday without knowing it, is to embrace yourself. Brother. Yes, exactly, 
Because a long time ago, I once had a message like this that said to me, I will give you your name. Now I understand. Your name is the revelation. Sister. What? What? Sister. The revelation of what? I don't understand. But the revelation of the truth of the unspeakable love of who you are. But it can't be understood, it can only believe. It doesn't matter. Brother, I will give you a name. Wait, Martin, because you're the one who organized the trip to Tenriff anyway. Sister, but I remember something, I got married for the first time and I immediately bore my husband's name, and when we separated, well, I took my last name back, but it was a little difficult. Then I met my second husband, we got married, and I never wanted to have his last name again, and I felt I had to call myself, I thought, they call me, that's my last name, that's my name, and I'll never have anyone's name again. And I refused to bear his last name. I am married but I have my first and last name, and I felt inside me that it was something important. So I understand now. We understand because we live it, and those who say they do not understand now, we cannot accept it. Moreover, I think that it has been said, we can only live it, that is to say that the ultimate secret has been hidden in your name, that you carry in this life, that solves everything. That is, to name yourself, to embrace yourself, puts an end to the myth of creation. But again, there's nothing to believe, it's not a demonstration, it's something to believe. Yes. Sister, if you have changed your first name in your life for one reason or another. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, you must take up again, call yourself by your real first name, the one given to you by mom and dad, not even the second or third, the first, whether you like it or not. And the family name you bear, whatever it is, is for you the word slash verb. And that then explains perfectly what Moses lived and what was described in the Old Testament. I am whom I am, when he asks, who are you? I am whom I am. Who are you? You are who you are. But this key could not be active, as it was said, before that moment, that is, when we locked the Alpha and Omega as Selene said earlier, the first Hawaii dream, the last dream here, and we are physically here, in this body simply, we are present. It's incredible, and everything becomes clear. Well, I don't know, for those who have studied the scriptures a little bit, when Moses says, But you are who, in the burning bush, and you say, I am the one who is, we are all the ones who is. And the only way to check it is not to accept your last name and first name, it is to say it. That was said for an hour and a half. Sister, and at night, in the night. And at night, that is, when the sun no longer shines, when you lie down at rest, in this body, you embrace yourself by saying your last name and first name. Sister. It also means that, for example, when you open your eyes, you are attracted, you are attracted, whereas when you are in the night, you are no longer, you are in the inner darkness. Yes, and it is in the depths of the darkness of the night, as they always say, that the light comes out. Sister, not necessarily. Those who traveled with me in naked conscience, today are often brothers and sisters who refuse to leave the dream, they continue to have visions, they do not understand when I told them that they had to stop, and that it was no use, that we had done everything, they pursued the dream, but as soon as they will call themselves, it is over. Sister, it's over too. Sister. But Olivia said, then, it's the Alpha and Omega, and the Omega and the Alpha, and all together complete. That's it, that's it. Sister, that's why he said, you are complete and you are whole. Yes. Sister, by saying it. There you go. Yes. Sister, and in the year 2019 there are 12, and the 12 is the Cosmic Egg. Yes. Sister, where is the masculine and the feminine? Right, we've talked so much. Sister, it is the androgynous one on the twelfth. 
the primordial androgynous. We have talked so much about the masculine and the feminine, already for years, each time more and more intensity than even today the sacred masculine, the sacred feminine, it no longer means anything. Sister. And the three, the number three of the twelve, is really the androgynous one actually. Now we can explain it by the Bible, by what you want, but once again, understanding and experience, that is, when you go, as you did for some people last night, because there are some who did not say it aloud, that night at 10 o'clock, when you say your last name and first name, you will see what will happen. Brother, it was strange. The wings will spread, physically and concretely, and when the wings spread, you are the butterfly that takes flight. Sister, we are in the butterfly. And we're in the butterfly. Sister, we like that. Laughs. Look, we wanted to do it on purpose that we couldn't. Sister, that's right, that's right. When I first met the aim, it was not scheduled, it was not anticipated. We met at the junction of the two continents, the four winds, the four elements. Between the columns of Hercule, this is not by chance. Sister, and the columns of Hercules connected to Atlantis. That's it, that's it. Sister, remains of the ancestral. It's the remains, yes, since there's only one column left now, there's one underwater. So the dream ends with a recognition that everyone is the one who is, whatever the stories, whatever the experiences, whatever the livings, whatever the vibrations, whatever the learning, whatever the lives, whatever the sufferings, whatever the experiences, the ultimate key was hidden, simply in our last name and our first name of this life. It's incredible, I mean, I don't know. Sister. And that's everything that falls, every question, everything. Charles. Brother, I have the impression, and not an impression, that we have reached the point of a great surrender, without question, because our head cannot understand what is revealed this afternoon. So you only have to do what is asked for, and when you are in this surrender, will take place what has to take place. And it can't fail, it can't fool you. That is to say, all this illusory character that we have seen as an illusion, it is in the illusion that the truth is hidden, it is what had always been said in the Vedic scriptures, eh, I remind you. What has been said in the Bible, it is up to man to name each creation. Brother, inaudible. I don't know, it seems to me to be totally consistent. Brother, in fact, it's because you're trying to understand exactly. Once again, I can only repeat the sentence, understanding is the experience, as soon as you say your name, at night, lying down, as soon as you embrace yourself. Sister, but will we feel them? Oh, yes, of course. Laughter and discussion in the room. Sister, tomorrow there is no one left. And besides, I repeat, it's going to be the 25th of May on the volcano, it's still incredible. Sister, you talk to us about the night of destiny. Yes. Sister, what you know about it. So on the night of destiny, I am not a Muslim, among Muslims, there is a night of destiny. Some put it on the 28th, others on the 25th, whatever, it's in that period. Like when we first met the aim, whom we never tried to meet, the whale came, it had nothing to do there at that time of year, let alone the baby. It happened, that is to say, it proves once again that everything was written, and as has been said, the ultimate key is neither vibration nor fire of the heart, it is simply the word slash verb, and the verb is carried by your last name and your first name, that's all that has been said. It can be summed up in two sentences, what we experience there. Sister, in fact, for the first time, we already had our last name and first name today. Yeah, no, not even, it doesn't matter. Sister, it doesn't matter. The vibratory coding of truth was in our femoral name, in this precise life, since we are at the origin of the dream and at the end of the dream. There had to be a common way for everyone, regardless of vibrations, states of consciousness and learning, 
and the only thing common to everyone is, of course, the heart of the heart, but at the level of the word slash verb, it is the last name and the first name. You can only recognize yourself, when you are called you are called by your last name and first name, when you fill out papers, you write your first and last name. It was hidden within that illusion, now you may not believe it, and those who don't understand it, well, can't understand it. Once again, you can only live it. Sister. And that's why it was said that Mary would call us. Yes, in fact those who now hear themselves by their last name, when I said that there is no more Mary than butter on a pin, it is you who call yourselves, even if you hear the voice of Mary or the voice of a star. Since they spent their time telling us that they were in us, they cannot that you called by the truth, it is your last name. Sister. It was well hidden, because in all the groups and so on, we were told, who are you and so on, when we gave our name, oh no, you are light, you are soul, you are all that to avoid that we give, that we talk about false, that we give our name. Yes, yes, the names of souls, the names of, and today, it's back to the origin, first dream, last dream. The name we bear is the key, that's all that's been said, it can be summed up in two sentences. There's nothing to understand there's just one more time to check it out. And if you really embrace yourself, and you can't help but embrace yourself, since you recognize yourself through your last name and first name since you were born. There is no need to look for noon to 2 p.m., as I was saying, there is no need to look for energies, vibrations, they are there. There is no longer even any need to look for experiences, states of consciousness. You pronounce yourself, you name yourself and you can say, I am who I am. There was hidden the last key, which I didn't know any more than you did yesterday. I felt I had to lie down, I had no idea what was going to happen. Sister. So we are living the last days of the last dream. That's right, which is nothing more than the first dream indeed, that the Alpha and Omega is in the Omega, etc., and the only key is actually to pronounce aloud by the word slash verb since we are all carriers of the word slash verb, the eleventh body is active in everyone, whether you feel it or not. The eleventh body is the creative word slash verb, and, as soon as you name yourself, not that you think of yourself, not that you recognize yourself through your history, but if you pronounce your last and first name, you unlock the truth, you have named yourself. And there is no need for a scenario, there is no need for a soul, there is no need for a mind, it happens in the depths of the ephemeral and in the depths of illusion. That is what has always been said in the Vedic scriptures, it was hidden inside us, but I guarantee you that a year ago, you could have spent your saying your last name and first name, nothing would have happened. It's active today and once again, we can only live it, we're talking about it because it's fun, it's, it's, it's really. Sister. It's the event. Yes, we are the event, what I have been saying for several times now, but it was still necessary as we say to actualize it, to manifest it, and as if by chance, it happens at the moment when the fire of the sacred heart becomes permanent, and when the fire of the sacred heart becomes permanent, you no longer need to put your hands on, make bam, 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 or think. As soon as you name yourself, it's over, that is, you're going to be in that state all the time, regardless of your perceptions, and regardless of what you think about it, or the denial you can bring to it, because it seems so big. Sister. So Agbahu has been calling us for a year. Yes. Sister. Since it began just then, in May, June of last year, so it is this recognition of the Abba that we are. Yes. Sister. In full, in full in the name. The specificity of Abba that you are, because we are all Abba, is not illustrated by imitating me, or by thinking of becoming me, not at all, I am nothing, but simply by recognizing yourself. Sister. Since there is before creation. Yes, that ephemeral, illusory name that we bore, whatever our age with our history, was the key. It was the last key, the only real key. He even said it's the key in the door. Sister. He has already said it. Well yes. So now, it seems obvious because it has been said, it remains to be lived for those who have not pronounced their names, but I do not see how it can be otherwise. 
What was the way was that it was present in everyone, so I will be told that it is the heart of the heart, that it predates creation, but it took a while for everyone to remember. It was hidden in the first and last name, and Abba, as I said, predates creation. Because it is the way to approach the same identity through diversity, that is, we have named creation, we have named the dimensions, we have traveled through them, we have lived them, even if we had no memory of them, and the only way to end the dream, as has been said, is to be freed from the person since that person can never be freed, is through the person by your own identity. I mean, it's huge, it's gigantic. And now I have no more words, what, it's so much, it's so big, it was so much like they say, like the nose in the middle of your face. Sister, it is the apocalypse, it is the revelation. It is the apotheosis of the apocalypse, it is the resurrection, the end of the resurrection, it is Ouroboros, that is, we return to the starting point, the name we bear, so we can have fun afterwards, for those who want to have fun, what your name means. A young, for example, means the dove, the messenger, I can't help it and it also means the I, Aaron in Arabic. And each of you, your name means something. So we can have fun. Sister, and Jean Luke is? Jean Luke is the bearer of light, Jean, Job. Sister, and John in an anagram. What about Jean? Sister, Angel. Angel. Luke, Lux, Light. Sister, everything is coded. Brother, Light. Yes, yes. If you look at it, it's all very implacable. Sister, tonight we are having a party, is there a party? Tonight's the party, there's music tonight, yes. Laughs. Unbelievable. Laughs. Sister. Unbelievable we would have liked. And that means that we won't even be able to do that at 10 o'clock p.m., so only for 5 minutes, because I have the people who asked me for care tonight. It's going to be postponed until the end of the party. When I tell you that everything is written, I spend my time telling you that everything has been written for a year. But everything is written, but in fact, I had hidden it from myself and I could only live it when everyone could live it. So we can have a lot of fun with first names and last names. Binigato, what does that mean? Brother, inaudible. Well, that's it. Brother, and Vincenzo is the last name of birth. Yes, Vincenzo, so you better take your last name from birth, the one your parents gave you in your original language. Brother, that's for sure. Brother. That's why I called you yesterday, Vincenzo. And you, in addition, with your name that resembles one of the Kabbalah geniuses, with two letters except, Medalia and Bahia. Brother, that's what I called you yesterday, Vincent, Vincenzo, did you hear that? Brother, huh? Brother, when I called you yesterday, I called you Vincenzo. Without knowing it, and yet it's the truth, and when I tell you that everything is written, I keep saying it, it's not a dream, it's exactly. Sister, inaudible. Well, that's the way it is, and it's the fact of saying your name that consumes you, I am who I am. Fair. It's incredible, because for a long time, when I got this message, I'll give you a new name, so I didn't expect that, because my name was simply Antoine. And you were expecting a nicer name. Brother. Yes, that's it. Laughs. Brother. It's incredible. No one can enter the kingdom of heaven unless he is reborn again. But it is not a rebirth link to reincarnation, it is the illumination of the name. Sister. It is the light. Brother. Unbelievable. Sister. The light, the light is everywhere, the light is everywhere. Brother, unbelievable. And if you think about it, it can't be wrong, since it can be proven by everyone by pronouncing it, and when we were told that there was only you, it's the truth. All creation is in everyone, that's what Nezogadot has said, the only difference between you and me is that I know that I am God. You don't know that yet. Sister, what more will we learn? 
No, I don't think I see what there is to learn here. Sister. Yes, because this time, this time, we are going to. There's just to enjoy, to live. Brother. So I appreciated, how to say it, I was led to understand it, that is, during the night of Tuesday to Wednesday, I perceived what belonged to creation, therefore everything that vibrated, everything that is vibrational, etc., and it was given to me to see what was in the Absolute. In the Absolute, OMA specified it, it is information. So in the information, everything is written, okay, okay, and from there, with a last name and first name, it was said there, last and first name. Represent all the experience, the whole thing, it's the door, but the smile has gone up to there. Yes, oh, it's, I wanted to get up, to walk. I thought, this is it. When we said, I am the way, the truth and the life, he tells us. We are the son of man, that's exactly why we are. Sister, that's very strong. It's very strong and we all wrote it, and it was indeed, now when we think about it logically, how do you want to awaken the whole creation at the same time, it seems completely illusory, you have brothers and sisters who are in opposition to this truth again. But they can't help but hear themselves called by their first and last names. It is indeed both the key and the door, and no one can escape it. Laughs. No one can escape it. Sister, I think it's funny that the Queen of England... Laughs. Ah well. Here you take the microphone for the next questions I'll take. Laughs. Sister, say, she's going to work with the hab. Laughs. Brother. But now you still have to wear a bigger hat. Laughs. And as I said, we had to break all the archetypes. I broke them up there, destroying Van Allen's belt. But here on Earth, we should not depend on a savior. We should not depend on Mary, nor on the creators, nor on the icons. We only depend on our truth, which is our last and first name. It's an incredibly perfect plan. The only thing that is different, However, and that we consider as our identity, each identity is different, and it sends us back to the same truth, whatever the diversity, whatever the appearance, it's simple. And it is a space of resolution for everyone, even those who are about over their religions, their beliefs, their visions they can't do otherwise. It's been written, it's been written for a short time, civil status hasn't existed forever, it's been two centuries, I think, I think, our name was written on the book of life. Sister, that explains why some people wake up when they hear their first name at night. But it is you who are calling yourself. Sister, because. And you are many to have heard your first name. Sister. Yes, there were many people, even like that, I think, who heard their first names. Oh, yes. Sister, and who said, what is it, what is it? But from what has been said, it is up to you to name yourself. Sister, yes, yes. Consciously. Sister, oh yes, we have to do that job, that is. Even if you were called. Remember, we were called by the last name, never by the first name. Brother. Yes. Never by the name. Sister. That's right. We were called, only for those who were called, by our first name. Sister. That's what surprised me last night, when you told us, you have to say your last name and your first name. Oh, yeah, I didn't know why I said that. You know things are done independently of my will, independently of my understanding. But if I accept that everything has been written, I can only live what has been written, and I can't be wrong, that's what I said, I can be wrong in my life, like everyone else, but in relation to the truth, I can't be wrong, it's impossible. Sister, since it is. Indeed, the first name by which we were heard Mary calling us, in 2010 for those who live it, in 2010 or at this moment, they have never called us by our last name and fierce numb, they have called us by our first name. And here the revelation is that the key and the door are the first name and the surname. Sister, 
Actually, we only had the key. Yes. Sister, and the door. There you go. But I think that we are going to have very special moments on the 25th, a little like we experienced, by surprise, what happened in the Straits of Gibraltar in November. It was written, we would have liked to do it on purpose that we could not have done. Sister, something incredible. Sister, yes, they are big dates. Sister, unbelievable. We unlocked the name. Sister. Oh yes, it's a changeover. And besides, the Hebrews called out the name as one, Hashem, because he is all the names, even if it is al afterwards. Sister. Yes. Lefts. But we are all al we are all Mary, that's what I was saying, there is no more Mary than butter on a skewer, and now, who sitly, anyone says his last name and first name, when you write a check, when you are asked for your identity, you can't escape it. The illusion itself, the confinement, which thought it was created by the Yukons by creating the civil status and buying the civil status, because each civil status is worth about $300,000, and belongs to the Queen Mother, in fact nothing belongs to her, and as has always been said, the Yukons have only participated in the plan. That's why Grandpa said yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I don't remember, that they were about to have a toast together. Sister. Yes, he dreamt of it. He said he dreamed of being able to. Sister, he dreamt of the moment. And the only way to recognize us is not even through vibrations or visions, because you see, today, there are some who are in the middle of rather particular scenarios. We can only recognize ourselves through our last and first names, in our humility and our simplest humanity, it has always been said, humility, simplicity, well yes. And now, I have to say since it happened, now it's being illuminated in a masterly way, well, I don't know. There are, of course, some who do not yet understand, because it is so big, it is so huge. Sister, you have to live it. Sister, anyway, I was always told about the surprise effect that was important, so that's it. Yes. Sister, another surprise. Yes. The surprise effect, it's there. When you see that you will be preyed upon, for those who refuse, as they refuse Dabba, as they refuse the gate, as they refuse the gate, that you are yourselves the key. I am the way, the truth and the life, no one can enter the kingdom of heaven unless he becomes like a child again. No one can penetrate the kingdom of heaven that, by passing through me, it is not the historical Christ, it is the religions, it is the Son of Man, it was said in the Apocalypse of St. John. Yes, and that's exactly what it is. But what is the simplest key? There is none, it puts an end to every story, to every myth. Yes, Martin. Sister, and where we're going on Saturday, Saturday at the volcano. Yes. Sister, the tid, here for the canaries, the tid is called El Patre, the father. The what, father? Sister, the father. Well, well. Sister, everyone here, when we say El Tid, we say El Patre. So that, and then Francis told us, look how beautiful this volcano is, it has the shape of a breast, a breast, an artisan, S-O-I-N-T, the breast. Lefts. Sister, about 20 years ago, my guide gave me a love poem about my last name and my first name, which I kept, which is beautiful. He made a connection between the aura of the saints and the way we appropriated ourselves. I have this poem, I'll send it to you. And then I really realized it was the first and last name, and it was really a love poem. And I became aware of the beauty of what was there. I'll send it to you because it's not just for me. He said, there was a Nora around us, so now you can take it over completely. He was giving it back to me in another way. The only thing you can't deny, no matter what you do, is your identity. It sounds so stupid, we all have an identity, they're all different. Sister, and even when your father is a rapist. I hear people rejecting their last names, it's terrible. Brother, what is taking root is the obvious. Just 10 more minutes.
Once again, in addition, it's so easy to check, there's no need to build scenarios, name yourself after yourself, as you've been named, to perform the miracle of one thing only. End of the myth, end of the history of creation, as expressed by all stakeholders in different ways. And by saying our ephemeral name within the illusion. Sound of an alarm. Laughs. Sister, be careful, be careful. We discover in every sense of the word, in the noble sense of discovering the naked truth, it was in the illusion that we had to find meaning, in the midst of what passes and passes away, and we are reborn again, as Christ said, through the name. It's so much, it really seems to me, I wouldn't have told you that in the early afternoon or yesterday, but now it's so clear. You are all Abba, but above all, you are all your name. Once again, this is not a demonstration, since it is precisely the experience that demonstrates it. And there, they will be very embarrassed, those who do not want to pronounce a gate, or those who do not want to pronounce fame, or who refuse everything that is happening. They can't escape their first and last names, and that's what I see when I do the care, at the same times as everyone else and not with Biddy and Abba, I take advantage of these moments to verbalize all the names that ask me something. I name them, I embrace them as I say in my heart, but they are already there, and the simple fact of naming them aloud by their names and first names, without knowing anything else, which I even deleted, because some people wrote me tidings, and it was just a pleasure, because I thought it was something I was doing. If I don't know anything, I can't think. I have a last name, a first name, they all wake up like that, whether they are healed or not, whether there is a miracle, whether nothing happens to their bodies, they wake up, the last testimonies all go in the direction. There is nothing more beautiful. In other words, it is within the suffering of our character, with everything we wear, the events of our body, the illnesses, the joys, the sorrows, and the last name and the first name to add the story, we are born again and everything becomes clearer. The name we have, which our parents apparently chose, was written long before creation too, and it is indeed the only way to be sure, since we are the beginning of the dream and the end of the dream, that no one can be wrong. Of course, in Abba already, but in fine, through simply his last name and first name. It does seem so big, so simple, even simpler than anything we could have imagined. Brother. The first and last name is really an identifier, it identifies us. Yes. And that's independent of religions. Brother. Oh yes, ah yes. It's culturally independent. Brother. And everyone is a last name and a first name. Yes, and it couldn't indeed, if we think about the intellectual meaning, it couldn't be anywhere else but in the heart of the heart, that we know, and the only way to wake up is to call us. What is called the last judgment in the apocalypse where everyone is called, it is called by name, it is written, it seems to me, in the apocalypse of St. John. And when I said last year that the throne is who is sitting, it is each of us who is sitting on the throne, because we are called one by one. I'm not the one who says it, St. Jean wrote it. And that is literally what is happening. Laughs. The end of suffering, the end of the dream too, and in a collective way, because the name, whether we like it or not, I repeat, we have owed it since birth. So as many as there are some who have been able to oppose a gate, the aim, Abba, but I do not see how they will be able to oppose their own name, since it bears it. And it was, I would say, the only way to get everyone to agree. Sister, that's smart. It is both very strong and very simple. Sister, it's so simple. And it will lead, whether we like it or not, to a form of relaxation of all projections, all expectations, necessarily. It is therefore sufficient to appoint ourselves without anything else. It's far beyond acceptance or embracing, we just have to verbalize it, and if we don't verbalize it, it's going to be another one, since that's what I do in care, I pronounce names and surnames, I don't do anything. Sometimes I don't even have time to say the last names and first names that they are already being treated. It's not a miracle, it's not. It's also explained. 
because you think that as a person who likes to explain things, I thought to myself, but how can they be cured by themselves, just by writing me an email, before I even know about it. It's normal, I needed it, and I used to tell everyone all the time, I only need your last name and first name. I don't need to know your story, I don't need to have your picture, I don't need to have your address. This is the intelligence of the light. Brother. Plane tickets, it's just a matter of first and last name now. That's right. It is the only recognition that everyone can only have and be. It is the only one that is unstoppable and that suffers no exception. Even a child who was not able to pronounce his name because he is small, he recognizes himself when his parents call him very quickly. Moreover, as we say in evolution, at birth, the notion of individuality, the notion of being separated and having a name, only appears around two years, three years later when the posterior functional closes and anterior. This is the moment when there is a break with the divine, because the baby becomes aware that he is an individual because he has been named, that's how he recognizes himself. And of course, you are not going to call your child by his family name, you call him by his first name like Mary, who called us by our first name or the stars, the last name was missing. This last name, which is passed on from generation to generation, called filiation, in which, of course, there are pathologies, what is called transgenerational and all its family histories, and yet which reveals us to date of the totality of who we are. Because indeed, in the last name on a purely human level, family name, there are all the ancestors, as we know, for those who work on the transgenerational, and there is nothing we can do about it. That explains why most artists, for example, change their names because they can't recognize themselves, they have taken pretexts, false names, names, Madonna, it's not her name, Johnny Halliday, it's not her name, it's a usurpation, and it's only by taking back your identity, last name and first name, that you are complete. And it's as simple as that. It goes through all energies, all vibrations, all understandings, all experiences, all visions. It even goes through all kinds of suffering. Come on, let's stop here, because we eat at 7 o'clock. Brother, for those who had passed through, those who are on the other plane. Yes. Brother, how will it go? For the elders, well tell me, father. His name is still Father Amram Nikolaivanov, Sri Aurobindo is still Sri Aurobindo, even if it is not his real name, it is the name he bore. Sister. Precisely Jean Luke in relation to. Sister. It's a mess in there, because when I was born, I was given the name of my paternal grandmother who had passed away. Yes. Sister. So. Many of them are the names of the grandparents, you're not the only one. At the time, tradition wanted you to be reminded by the name of the father, grandfather or grandmother, at least in the middle name, but here we didn't talk about the middle name, we were talking about the real name by which we name you. You don't have to ask yourself any questions about the story, just accept that you are who you are, this name and first name is over. Sister, you kept the grandmother's first name. Sister. No, because I thought it was too long, I shortened it, and then as it was a German name, I thought it was. It doesn't matter, the name is active in the present, no matter what circumstances made it possible to arrive at that name, it was only pretexts, only pretexts. The circle is complete, we have been disidentified from the character, we have been brought into a circle by the stories, the vibrations of superconsciousness, and we return to the starting point, simply the last name and first name, but we had to live the whole dream. Sister, there is not much left to live for. Indeed, the only common thing we can say is that it is the heart, because everyone is a heart, but as we know that consciousness is everywhere, in the oceans, there is no heart in an ocean. There is a heart from the moment you are a mammal, a plant has no heart yet it is a heart. Sister, it also has a name for the vegetable. Yes, yes, everything is named. Birds, whether it is the Latin name or the name, we have identified everything on this earth, and, as soon as there is something that appears, even the new clouds, they give them names, they baptize them. Sister, 
Concretely this evening, before saying the last and first name, do we say something or nothing at all? In concrete terms, your last name is just your name. Sister, we call each other, we don't say, I recognize myself or I have braced myself. No, no, not even, you put yourself in position, if you want, you repeat a gate, the aim, you don't even have to embrace anyone else anymore, in truth. Brother, I embraced enough. I embrace you if you want to say it, but above all, you say it. Sister, no, it's about, you see, recognition, we recognize ourselves. But it is not an intellectual recognition, it is not even a vibratory recognition, it is the recognition of the truth. So you can take it in all directions, put yourself in a posture if you want, as I told you yesterday, crossed ankles, agape, agape, the aim, but quite logically, it is enough that it is at night, that your body is at rest, that you name yourself, last name, first name, and it is over. I can't tell you any better. It is up to you to check that this is true, not just the words, or what you have said to yourself, but check it out. In addition, there is no simpler verification, you can't go wrong. So there's no point in thinking about it too much, we have the party first, it'll clear our heads. Laughs And as soon as you are motionless in your bed, at rest at night, you name yourself, last name, first name. If you feel that you need a posture, a gap to pronounce or whatever, do it, of course, if it can help you, but this key, apparently from what has been said, is universal, there is no other. Sister, it's a master key. So, yes, it may sound completely crazy, but it's so easy to check. It is no longer even a question of energy, of feeling the flows, of feeling the tetrahexahedron, of feeling the energies, the vibrations, the revelation is done by oneself. Come on, let's get out of here. Through Jean Luc A. Young. The Transformations. English Translation. LMF.